Alright, so today, or tonight I should say, is the full moon of June. This is the strawberry moon. Uh, very, very cool night. We've got some astronomical goodies that I will show you. Um, tonight happens to be the full moon, so first we will take a look at the moon. And as you can see, when I zoom in on the moon here, we have a very nice full moon. I should mention that this is the last supermoon of, for the time being. Um, another interesting time where the moon will, something special with the moon will happen will be on Halloween, there will be a blue moon this upcoming Halloween. So how often do you get a, you know, it's once in a blue moon that you get a blue moon on Halloween, but pretty cool. Um, so not far from the moon, we have two planets that are visible. These are the two biggest planets in our solar system. Jupiter and Saturn are right here. And I will zoom in on Jupiter to show you it. I've, I've highlighted Jupiter on other videos, but this time of year, um, around later in the night, so around 11 p.m., Jupiter and Saturn will appear. I'm not going to go too in-depth because I've done it in previous videos, but here you have the, Gal the Galilean moons of Jupiter right here and then we will take a look at Saturn too there we have Saturn you can see its rings and a bunch of the moons those are just a handful of the many moons of Saturn all right so we will take a look so there's a few this time during the summer, the early summer, there's uh, early in the evening, there are some uh, some pretty cool stars that appear on the horizon that we don't get to see during the winter time because they are up with the sun. But here, this reddish star here is Antares, and there is a very very cool star there, that red star. All right, a uh, a fun, a very fun star. That's usually you can see. It's, oh, oh boy, sorry about that. A um a cool star that you can see along with Arcturus, which is this star that I'll talk about in a minute, is Spica. So we will zoom in on Spica and kind of show you the area around Spica. Whenever you look at certain stars or certain areas of the sky through telescopes, the bigger and the better the telescope, the more objects you will see separated. And this star, Arcturus, is a very interesting star. Um, Arcturus, we often refer to it as the alien star. Uh, we call it the alien star because it's, out of all these other stars you see here, this is the only one that we believe is not from our galaxy. A um, couple constellations here. Here we have the Big Dipper. Here's the frying pan of the Big Dipper. And the long curvy handle. And these two stars of the Big Dipper here we call pointer stars. And the pointer stars, if you extend them this way, run into Polaris or the North Star. So we go one, two, three, four, five. There's the North Star or Polaris. And Polaris is at the top of the Little Dipper. So here's the little handle. And the little frying pan or shopping cart. And Ursa Major is a bear constellation. I'll show you this here. Here is the tail of Ursa Major. Here's the body of the bear. Here's the head, tip of the ear tip of the nose, the bear has front legs, and the bear has back legs. In the planetarium I could show you a very pretty outline, but I can't do that here unfortunately. And over here we have uh, Queen Cassiopeia right here, this W, M or W. And yes, so that is going to be it for this video. Uh, tune in next time, and we will see you next time. Thank you.